Hopefully I'll find one of those bags that increases my space a little bit more soon. Because I don't really want to throw away my potions yet. I want to have all- I want to use all my fun potions against big bads. Bye! It's weird, they look like- they look like, uh, teddy bears, but they sound like chimps when you beat them. Because I have a lot of experience beating chimps, in case that was unclear. I'm just going to immediately fess up to this. There we go. Oh, I get it now. Oh, wait, no, I am in a room. Do hallways not have ratings? Oh, hallways don't have ratings. Only circular rooms have ratings. Interesting. So I'll fight people in a circular room, but there just won't be a rating assi assigned to it. So, because I, I keep waiting for the pop-up to happen, so I so I can so I can know that the fights are what? What are you? Oh, it's a manticore. Ow. Hey, buddy. You seem nice. Oh, he's about to deck me in the face. Flame in front of you that lasts a while. Using up all that power meter. <laughs> I'm all out now. Oh, no, I'm not. Still got some more PP to use. There we go. How are you guys feeling, everybody? Feeling good? Oh, I gotta face the right way real quick. This is... <laughs> it's a bit of a power fantasy at the moment. How are you feeling, buddy? <laughs> this seems to be effective at the moment. It helps that there's so many trash... There's so many trash mobs in the room right now that all of those enemies are making it so I have a ton of extra energy to fight the boss. Oh, whoops. That was a mistake. Oopsie. Ow. That actually hurt. Alright. Good time to heal. Oh, last health bar. Nope. Oh, look at that. Whoa, that double mouth. That is something. <laughs> so many abilities to string together. I don't know. It's not exactly difficult so far, but dear lord, if it's not just enjoyable. <laughs> it definitely takes me back to the days of, uh, of playing... At, I grew up in arcades where I would play games like uh, Chronicles of Mistara. And you just pause the game and highlight a spell and just blow up the screen. And all of your in your in that game's case, you were playing multiplayer, so all your friends also had to like pause for a moment to watch as the crazy stuff happens on the screen. A hundred hit points one time upon knocking him. Oh wow, it's a lifeguard. Do these? I wonder if these take up two slots because there's two of them. There's, there's nine Muggle seeds. That's a little too much now, isn't it? Grows one Muggle. Which is the, uh, that's what you use for... I don't remember, actually. Let's plant some of these. Here we go. I mean, you're surrounded by other muggle seeds right now, so why not? Grow for me, nature! Bestow upon me your blessings of nature, you goodness. Please come back, all of you particles that I've launched into, into space. <laughs> don't want to lose those. Look at these. They grow- that's two muggles. Alright, let's remind myself what these do then. Oh! Finishing it will leave a muggle seed. Oh! That's alarming. So you eat it and then you just get another seed? And you- and you eat it twice? Oh my goodness. This is a big source of- of, of leveling up. Can I use, oh, you, you can't eat it in bulk twice, unfortunately. Oh yeah, you can. Oh, cool. Putting it in eat in bulk actually makes it automatically eat twice. Well, I'm level 10 now. I feel like I'm a higher level than the area is now, but why would I not... Why would I not use these things they're giving me? They're giving me so many items. I have too many antidotes. I'm scared. <laughs> I need to turn these antidotes into something else, don't I? But I need mulberry for those, right? Because with, with mulberry seeds, I can turn them into more healing potions, of which I also kind of have too many of. Is that what I want to do? Or do I just leave stuff on the ground and accept it? Because I'm half tempted to have, I'm kinda tempted to do that right now. You can't carry any more, more muggle seed, why is that? 
It must cap out at nine exactly. Interesting. Because, yeah, my bag's not full, actually. I just can't carry any more of that type of seed. A type of seed they seem to just be drowning me in. Interesting. Because I believe your level affects all your stats. Yeah, it affects your hit points and stuff like that. All right. Maybe I should just plant a bunch of them for a while and just see how it goes. I could literally plant all of them. Ta-da! Grow, nature! And I'm just throwing all my experience away. I'm aware of that. But hey, it's leveling. I'll just, I think I could use it for other skills, though. Oh my goodness, that's so many of them. <laughs> Look how many there are! Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> how satisfying is that? Alright, I'm just gonna eat these for a while, so I'll see you guys in a moment. I'm not gonna have you sit through all this. Oh, here's a little detail. So this is one way to look at your inventory that they've shown me so far, but I can press the touchpad to look at this bag, which actually does a good job at clarifying exactly what your 32 items are. So I can actually carry as many seeds and fruits and vegetables and whatever as I want to. It's the potions and the equipable items to take up all my equipment slots. Okay. That is actually really helpful. In fact, this is probably a more useful menu than the one that they have me using by default, which is... Man, there's no- there's actually, like, no reason to present information this way. It's really inefficient and awkward. But, uh, this is exactly what Chronicles of Mistara looked like, so I'm pretty sure it exists specifically because they were probably evoking that style of game. I believe- uh, who made Ca Chronicles of Mistara? I want to say that there were Capcom games that were b using the D&D license in, like, 1990 or maybe even earlier. Recommend- recommend checking those out if you like this game, because it's- it's relevant. Just, it's an arcade game, so don't expect it to be longer than an hour. <laughs> Murder! Oh, I should be guard breaking, obviously, because they were very much guarding. There we go. I see you, birdie. I mean, <laughs> I just called a bee a bird. What is wrong with me? Just getting a little stabby. I'm sure that my, cha my increased chain is probably helping me out, too. I'm just doing these long combos right now. <laughs> and more with the murder. Oh, we're all out of chain. But everything's dead, almost. Oh, miss. Yeah, it's a little hard to hit the tiny little bears. Oh, we've finally been poisoned. Okay. Well, I've come prepared. Over here. Yum, yum, yum. How convenient for time to pause when I do that. <laughs> ah! Yeah, bees are a little hard to hit. It definitely incentivized me just saying screw it and using magic like this. Oh, there's a beehive. I found your source. I wonder if those existed in previous areas too, and I just and I, maybe I destroyed them on accident by uh, I might have destroyed them on accident by just uh, casting, just in general. That seems. Oh, whoopsie. There we go. Give me all my stuff. And another S rank. We're off to a good start on this one. And we've got more healing tonics. Can't do anything with those seeds. In this land, there exist many records that foretell Armageddon, all of which have been subject to much scrutiny. I have seen the truths of the world through only one eye, and obtained great wisdom. This is what I have learned. In the world's twilight, five calamities will fall upon the land. The beast, the lord of the death, the flame, the cauldron, and the dragon. The war for the fate of the world will begin. He who survives the battle will become the new king. All armies of, Rang of Ragnanaval must prepare that we may claim victory in the true final battle. Securing the cauldron will lay the foundation for our triumph. If we are to succeed, we must harness the almighty power of infinite phosons. The demon lord's words to the public about the truth of the prophecy he outlines a unique interpretation, using it as justification to strengthen his military. Is he simply a scheming? For, is he simply scheming further? That's Odin's interpretation. Here we go. That's the Muggle seed. What's over here? Oh, Caretier. Murder, Caretier. I don't. I don't think I need to be beat. I think that might have been a little pointless. So there's definitely implications of. Uh, I'll go here. Why not? 
it's backtracking technically, but I haven't killed them yet. Murder all of nature! Oh, I tried to use PP that I did not have. Oh, and that would definitely come in handy here too. Die, Hive. Oh, that was a waste. There we go. Got him. It's a source of experience. But everything that they're talking about with the events in this world definitely sound like we're going towards uh, Ragnarok, basically. Which is the North mythology equivalent of, you know, the end of the world. It's the Great War, the end, where the Ice Trolls fight Odin and everybody else and so on. We're all, so we can't use more materials. Oops, that was an accident. I, I, I went so long without having that mistake, and now I'm doing it all the time. Let's go ahead and mix with the Carateers, I believe. Yeah. All of you, get in there. Give me a super potion. What did I get? I got an elixir. Recovers hit points and grants limited invincibility. Recover hit points and then be and become invincible for five seconds. Interesting. We're learning things here. Let's try stacking up stuff in the other one, too. What do we do? Two Cubs Bane. Toxin. Creates a low mist that damages and poisons. Damage 120, range 100%. Nice. Interesting new things to be found. We can't store any more of that item, though. We can't store any more material? Oh, we're just full on everything in general. That's the problem. <laughs> it's not the specific things I have. Ah, uh, I don't think I need to grab more right away. I think, I, I think I'm just gonna have to take the loss here. Uh, someone came out and was pointing out, like, this doesn't quite fit Norse mythology and so on and so forth, and that it's just using... Ah, I did it again! Why am I doing that now? I wasn't doing it at first. And that, they were talking about how this doesn't quite fit Norse mythology, and that, like, it's, uh... They're just using names arbitrarily. And I, I would counter, that's what Japanese games do a lot. <laughs> is they just... They... They make Final Fantasy mythology. <laughs> you take a... You take somebody else's religion or belief system, and then you add anime girls to it and stuff, and do what you feel like. That's so, sort of how they tend to handle things. I have so much shit on the floor now. I gotta say, I was not necessarily looking forward to a bunch of inventory management in this game. I guess I'd need to start taking damage more, huh? Let's see. What happens if I mix you with other healing potions? I can't mix with them with anything. That's, bu that's a bummer. It'd be nice to be able to mix the healing potions with each other. Just to burn through my inventory space. I could just eat- I could just drink one, I guess. Just, I want the mulberry. It gives me experience. Don't make me drop it on the ground. You don't understand how important this is to me. What's a, so what's a restore do? Because I don't think I've had one of those yet. Was it there? No. Hey, why am I using this screen? I already said that the other one was better. Uh, it recovers PP. 10. Oh, 10's actually pretty good. I had to remind myself what PP means in this context, but that's actually pretty nice. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go... Yeah, Muggle Seeds I can go on without. Uh... Is there anything back here? Not in this case. Oh, hello. You sneaky. You're a sneaky little one. Alright. Yeah, it's easy to, uh... Was it... Oh, God. What's wrong with me? Why can't I stop? I can't stop. There's no escape. I can only open end, end menus that way. Ooh. We have incentive to plant here. Also, there's a thing underground. Oh. 16. Do I even have seeds to put on the ground here? I mean, I guess I could do the experience thing again just for the sake of it. Actually, this is an opportunity to get me some energy, especially since I just wasted some of it on accident. Let's see. You require the least Fozons to plant. This means I can suck them all up. That helps make up for the fact that I just wasted a bunch of mine. Give me your mulberries! Which I can't carry, damn it! <laughs> Inventory space. I don't need this many antidotes. Experience is important, I'm not leaving it on the goddamn ground. Oops. Oh! No! I didn't even mean to open it that time, and then I wasted it. My brain is broken. It's like the more I think about it, the more I make that mistake. At the beginning of this, I had no problem with not wasting energy there. Hey, buddy. Hey, cut it out! 
I'm an innocent bystander. I'm just a nice goblin. Just don't ask where my wares came from. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna assume he's patches the hyena and he's robbing people's corpses that he helped make. Uh, maybe not the many antidotes, but I have, I have too many healing potions. It's just, it's, it's, there's too many. Let's just clear out some of this nonsense. Just doesn't make sense to have this many on me at once. And we got the... Yeah, the lifeguard. That's probably better than having a, a slight increase in, in health points. So I'll get rid of the star pendant. I should probably store some of that stuff at home though, basically. There, we got some space. What do you? What can I buy from you? Fireproof charm. Recovery from burn effect, 50% up. Not bad. Oh, ancient crystals relatively expensive but by, uh, by these guys' standards. I'm gonna get out of here. And boss fight time. Can I save? I can. Just makes sense to pop one of these down before the boss fight if I can. Here we go. Let's get our faces rocked. Let you escape this time. You'll never get your wish, Valkyrie. Confront me all you want, but you cannot change my resolve. Go back and inform the Demon Lord. I will not listen to your pleas. You have no choice in the matter. If you insist that you will not repair the cauldron. That evil spear and my chain are both ciphers. If we battle, it will be a serious affair. You're hesitating. Bluffing will only get you so far. If you value your life, obey the king. You ignorant fool. You cut short your own life by meddling in my affairs. Using the crystallization cauldron will doom the entire world. That accursed cauldron served as a trigger. To the horror that befell my native country of Valentine. It is Cataclysm's womb, and it should not exist. The great magical country of Valentine is said to have been destroyed overnight. I am aware of the story that you describe. The Valentine prophecies say the world will be destroyed by five disasters. One of those five involves a furnace that spews despair. You say that line refers to the Crystallization Cauldron. Tis but a rumor from a ruined land. War will spread across the world. The winning country will rule over the entire land. Your country's ambition is merely a convenient lie for the Demon Lord. Do you imply that my king is deceiving everyone? I will not hear this mockery! Stop this nonsense! I shall take your life if I must! Velvet, Forest Witch. I know she's important because she's on the cover, so she's probably one of the five playable characters. Hello! Don't mind me, just gonna try to ruin you as best as I can. Oh, nope. Got a little far away there. Where'd she go? There she is. I know you're over there. So there's a little bit of nuance here in the story that to think about because the uh, where where'd you going? Oh, that's is the, oh whoa! All right, we are now burning. You'll continue to receive heavy damage for a set amount of time. Move quickly to cure it. Let's try to deal with that if I can. I don't know if I have a a fire cure right now. I should have taken the suggestion of the game and picked up one of those items back there. Well, could restore PP just to have more. To use on her. I, don't, I think antidote's exclusively poison, right? Yeah, I might have to just take the damage for now. But uh, she's suggesting that that the uh, that stuff that we're being manipulated by the Demon King, which is, seems to be what she calls Odin, which is interesting because Odin him, her, himself wants me to spare her. So there's there's a lot of layers going on here that are interesting. Oh, I, I made her drop her potion. She's about to use a toxin potion. I made her drop it. Oh, I missed completely. Good job, me. 
fun times for all. <laughs> oh, run over here now. Oh. Nope. Oh. Blocked that a little bit. Oh, jeez. Just barely deflected some of that coming at me. Um, What was I going for? Whirlwind? I can get more PP real quick. Or was that? Wait, no, I already used that, didn't I? That was Recover. Got a little mixed up. Let's use some fun. <laughs> the juggle is the juggle is so real right now. Well, that was evaded. Oh, that was not fully evaded. Ow. Whoa, that is real. Okay. Good time to heal my toxin. Here we go. Nope, oh, 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 oh. That hurts. Oh, out of range. Tragic. Nope, oh, no, 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 no. Wait, where are you throwing that? I'm not over there. That was a weird decision point on your part. Oh! That caught me off guard. She's getting violent, is what she's doing. Hey, buddy. Nice to see you again. I'm not walking into that, if I can avoid it. Or at least I'll try to spam this attack to be temporarily invulnerable while I'm in it. <laughs> oh. Oh, that did not go as planned. Hey, now. There we go. Drop your potion, damn it. Stop, stop it. There's a counter to get away from that in the middle of that attack. Ooh, Blaze. Seemed to, have not, seemed to have knocked a potion out of her. Oh. Oh, she escaped me. She's escaping me. Dear lord, I can use that attack a lot. Oh. Accidentally opened this. Let's see some fun, though. Let's try Whirlwind. There we go. That's some fun. How you doing, lady? Being a little bit confined by all this crazy magic happening in your face? I know you're in there. I can barely see you, but I know you're in there. <laughs> there we go. Level 13. Wait! Both of you! Cease fighting! Father! Why are you here? I had a premonition of something like this. So I came here. Odin. I cannot allow you to hurt one another. Gwendolyn, step away. Do not interrupt what I have to say. Velvet. You look so much like your mother. <sighs> My dear daughter, why daughter? are you acting against me? Do not call me your daughter. Do you think I am a fool? While the nations of Valentine and Ragnanova were at war, you disguised yourself and seduced my mother, the princess, with sweet words. And you were quick to flee when she became pregnant. Because my mother gave birth to an enemy's child, she was executed for loving you. It is the same as if you had killed her yourself. That is not true, my child. We did not know each other's real names, nor our ranks. I did not run away from her. We were torn apart. I truly love the princess. Father. Lies. If you loved my mother, who is this other daughter here? I do not think of you as my father, and I have no desire to help you. <laughs> well, well. I followed the king and stumbled into a royal spat. Fraternizing with the enemy. Who could have guessed? Brigand. Although their demise was sudden, Valentine was still our enemy. And while the battle raged, the king had an affair with their princess and even had a child. Deary me, the subjects will be most upset. But as I am a loyal servant of my king, 
I will carry this secret to my grave. But that cauldron is another story. Now come, winsome little witch. You will help us gain its might. <laughs> Well, I suppose that's the more to the story that I was anticipating. How did you stop the magic furnace? There must be some type of key to it. Speak, witch, if you value your life. Even if I told you, there is nothing you could do. The cauldron may only be controlled by a ring named Tetrell. A terrible dragon holds the ring presently. Wagner... Feared by all, keeps the ring within his stomach. How could this be? Wagner of all things. My lord, what do you plan for the girl who has harmed our country so? If we cannot use the cauldron's magic, the inevitable final battle shall be a recreation of the awful war against Valentine. How are we to inform the soldiers and the citizens? I know. We must sacrifice her flesh to the dragon and retrieve the ring. Command me to sacrifice the witch. Suppress everyone's anger with blood! Uh. Hmm, I sense my king is not content. Is there any reason to protect this witch? Is there anything at all between our king and his daughter from an enemy land? Brigan, you... Ah, oh, sire, I hear your command. The witch shall be sacrificed. Away with her! The way that Brigan just... just revels in being a horrible person is just so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have here? Assault High. Skill up is foes on times 30. Nope. Tutorial abilities. Is another tutorial? Abilities have been unlocked. These enhance the character itself. Oh, there are passives. Okay, passive skill up. Uh, let's acquire the ability flash, Fast Glide. Okay. I get an ability point. Oh, I have 12. Okay. You've acquired Fast Glide. You can acquire abilities with ability points, which are gained as your level increases. This concludes the tutorial for abilities. <laughs> I love it when the, the tutorial itself is shorter than the messages that say that they're going to do a tutorial now. So it's mastered, and you don't get anything else. That's just, yeah, you don't level it up or anything? Nope. Okay, these, these cost more points. Increase POW's auto recovery speed, obviously. Increase your hit points recovery by 20%. Increase damage to the next attack by 30 after a successful guard. Nice. Let's go for a charge up. Obviously, since I'm using POW so much. The faster I can make that meter fill up all the time, the more effective I'll be. What's down here? Recover POW upon defeating a foe. That's perfect. Increase experience gained from food by 20%. Also nice. I'm gonna go for the POW one. Of course I will. <laughs> I'm clearly emphasizing that particular element of the game so far. What's down here? Enhance additional effects uh, of equipment. This, oh, this actually isn't that, that big of an upgrade tree, though. Like, that's the next tier down. Granted, the, exp the costs keep increasing as you go down, but it, uh, it's, not, it's not massive. Granted, I don't think the game can be that massive, because it is split across five characters, and this is the upgrade tree that, that I believe is exclusive to one character. I believe. So it looks like these are all opened as if to suggest that I can get to them. This is in Winterhorn Ridge. Vo uh, Vulcanon Lava Pit. Oh, you get them just for completing those areas. Interesting. So there's a passive skill. Increased damage dealt against foes according to the number of a chain. Okay. Attack plus one. It's a little vague in its effectiveness. Uh, I really like Needle Strike, so let's go ahead and put some some point into that. This will make the skill more powerful. Clearly I'm using it, so that makes sense to use. 
Next is going to be 60. Hit count up. That's fantastic. Let's go for it. Why not? And since it's an attack that inherently increases my chain, I may want to put more points in the future into Assault High to keep that going. Alright, some good abilities here. I'm slightly intimidated by the fact that there's going to be that many more abilities for this character. I guess you get a lot of room to to uh, customize them for the specific abilities you want to keep around, because that is a lot of abilities. Is the middle uh, is the middle one passive? Um, active skill. Is the middle one called passive? It is called a passive skill very clearly. That's a passive skill too. Okay, so they're not in they're not in specific locations. I thought they might be all in the middle because of how the other one was in the middle, but they seem to just show up wherever they feel like on the screen. All right. Let's go ahead and save. I'm interested in seeing where this is going. I'm debating what to do with the, um... I'm debating what to do with stories. At the, at the moment, I'm assuming you probably unlock the access to the other stories midway through this one. And if that happens, I'm curious. I'm kind of deciding whether I should jump back and forth between stories and try to keep the timelines even. Or if I should just play one character all the way through and then another character all the way through and play them one at a time that way. I am currently undecided. Of course, I could be wrong. Maybe you only unlock them by beating the campaigns of each other like Dynasty Warriors. Who knows? See you guys next time.